what it do y'all in today's video we're gonna be talking about no fab why the hell would anyone do this shit does it even work and why you should be considering it all right if you don't know what no fab is it's basically this movement that was created i want to say back in 2011 where people stop masturbating and they stop watching pornography but understand that this isn't something new it's just the phrase that's new it's the movement that's new but before this shit has been done for years people used to refer to this either as semen retention or they wouldn't they wouldn't refer to it as anything because they didn't know what the fuck they were doing they were just abstaining from releasing sexually right a few famous people that do this or that did this from the top of my head i want to say was mike tyson and nikola tesla right now, the question is, why? Why would anyone want to do this shit? Why would you want to stop busting a nut? Why would you want to stop pleasing yourself, giving yourself this pleasure, this instant gratification? Right, there's a lot of reasons for this, and what I'm going to tell you all is the reasons why I even stopped in the first place. And the reason that I stopped was because, one, I realized I had an issue. Right? I realized that I was running away from all my fucking problems, to bust a nut, right? Anytime that I felt discomfort, I would bust a nut. Right? I would do so several times a day. Now, whether it be through pornography or whether it be just through self-stimulation, through masturbation, I would do this and it created a nasty habit. Right? So if you have this habit where you're constantly fucking busting a nut, that's not a good thing, right? Mentally and physically, psychologically and physiologically. Think about this, all right? If you're doing something, right? If you're doing something that gives you instant gratification and you're constantly doing it, right? You're constantly giving yourself this instant gratification. This fucks with you mentally because subconsciously, when you're doing things in life that's not fucking beating your meat, you begin to search for that instant gratification right this fucks your discipline if you're doing it excessively it fucks your discipline it makes you seek that instant gratification and then when you're doing something it doesn't give you that instant gratification you give up right you never get as far as you could you never do as good as you do you never were put in a hundred percent that you would put in if you weren't seeking that instant gratification all right i know this from personal experience it wasn't until i stopped fucking jacking off so damn much that i started putting in more work in the gym that i started putting in more work in um self-development in my relationships with other people in every pursuit in my life i started to go in a hundred times harder when i stopped uh escaping my issues and busting a nut so damn much all right so understand that if you have this issue right if you if you're constantly releasing is going to affect you on a mental level and the way that it affects you on a physiological level on a, you know the the physical level is that you're releasing your sperm right and if you if you research into it your sperm has vital nutrients uh the only one that can come to my head right now the only one that i can actually think of that's the most important in my opinion is zinc right zinc is a major major uh micronutrient when it comes to testosterone right if you're constantly busting the nut if you're constantly releasing this zinc from your body and let's say you're not even getting in enough zinc through your diet because most people's diets are fucking trash nowadays you can see how this would affect you on a physical level right what could what could happen could it stunt your growth could it make you go bald? Could it make you lose your eyesight? Could it make your, your beard not grow in? I can't speak on that, right? Everyone's different, everyone reacts differently, but just understand that if you have an issue, if you're doing this excessively, it's going to affect you on a mental and a physical level, on a psychological and a physiological level, right? But if you don't do it excessively, why would you even wanna stop, right? Well, like I said, you can use this time, you can use this energy for something else, 
right? And, and you could say, you could give me, you could give me the excuse saying, oh, bro, I, I only spent three minutes. I, I could finish in one minute. I just go in there, rub one out, bust it, and I feel good. I feel relaxed. That is true. You could do this. But why not invest that time to learn something else? It, if your main reason for doing it is to be relaxed, why not learn a breathing exercise? Why not learn how to meditate? Why not go and exercise more? Right? If your main reason is to release, to feel good, why not focus on yourself, develop yourself, keep working on your life, and only release when you're with a woman? Right? You have to understand that the body takes care of itself. I, I don't want to get too far into that because I'm going to be making a whole bunch of videos on this topic in the series. But um, continuing with today's video, we said what NoFap is. We said why would anyone want to do this shit, right? And um, does it even work? Okay. Yes. Yes, it does work. Now keep in mind, if you don't have an issue, like I said, if you're not excessively doing this, then it may not work in the same way that it would for someone who is excessively doing this. For someone who's excessively doing this, they're going to notice a huge list of benefits, right? And I'll, I'll get into the benefits in another video, but they're gonna notice a huge list of benefits versus someone who doesn't have an issue to begin with. They're gonna do no fab and they're probably not gonna notice any change, right? But for the people who don't have an issue to begin with and they decide, okay, I'm gonna do no fab, it's a hundred times more important for them to really focus their energy and their time into other things to be able to see some kind of improvement, some kind of benefit from doing no fat, right? Understand that this is not something that everyone has to do, but it's something that can benefit everyone, right? Self-discipline will benefit anyone, okay? Understand that shit. I'm sure you already understand why you should even attempt doing this. If you feel like you are doing this excessively, know that there's a lot of benefits that are kind of that are going to come with you ceasing, right? With you stopping uh, this action of beating your shit and watching pornography, right? And if you don't have this problem of excessively doing it, understand that there's still benefit to it, right? You can still benefit from doing this because self-discipline self-discipline is always going to benefit you all right and then the last thing that i want to say today is that even if you decide not to do no fab even if you decide oh well you know what fuck you i'm gonna keep busting it up because this shit feels good by all means i don't give a shit but what you should keep in mind is that if you're gonna do this don't watch porn all right when you watch porn it's giving you an un natural spike in dopamine all right it's it's something that our brains aren't ready for right if if we were out in the wild and we see a woman our dopamine spikes if we're here like if we're in the present right now if we're about to have sex with a woman our dopamine spikes but when we have porn in front of us when we're watching porn we have access to any woman right? we have access to all these videos we have access to all this content that is Literally, it's just spiking the fuck out of your dopamine, right? It's giving you this flood of dopamine that's unnatural and it will fuck you up, all right? It will make you to where normal shit in real life won't affect you the same. The dopamine spikes that little things in life would actually cause won't affect you, right? Even sex won't be the same for you. You might be desensitized or you might be oversensitized. You might get to the point where you can't even get your shit hard. Right, I've been there. I was at the point where I had a girlfriend, fine as fuck, and I couldn't get that shit up. All right, so understand that even if you decide you're not gonna do no fat, quit that fucking porn. Right, you don't need that shit in your life. Um, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you in one way, shape, or form. With that being said, remember y'all, if you want some deeper content, if you wanna go even deeper into this shit, consider becoming a patron. I'll leave a link down in the description box below. And with this being said, remember that the time is now.